going on, people? It's Glendon Cameron with How to Make a Living Without a Job. Today's topic is going to be a little tight. Dynamic thinking versus linear thinking. Let me give you some examples. Because one thing I find very interesting about a lot of people in the world Many people use words and they don't know the meaning of those words. And they'll say stuff that is immediately contradictory while they're trying to make a point. Case in, let's take me. There's this thing that goes around and it does down and it comes back and it dies down and it comes back because there's a group of people who feel that they don't have to pay for information. And they feel that sharing amongst themselves will get them where they need to be in life. Now, this is where the linear and the dynamic thinking comes into play. If that worked, how many millionaires and billionaires do you know that got that way from those type of uh, information swaps? I don't know of any. Not a one. Not a one. Now, you can make good money in communities. You can do a great deal on online communities but this is the rub if everyone in the community is on the same level you're gonna hit a ceiling very quickly because if they knew how to do more they would do more and then there's another little thing that's in there too those who have better information that is working for them are not going to give it out freely they're not going to do it. They're just going to like, okay, I have this item that I got for a buck, but it makes me $1,000. They're not going to go on YouTube and say, hey, I got this great item for a buck, and it makes me a th They're not going to do it. They may tell you they'll do it, but they're not going to do it because that would be fucking stupid. Now, when I started on YouTube in 2009, I was out of the business. I had a long conversation with myself before writing that first book because dynamic that's right dynamic thinking told me that once you cross that bridge chance of going back is pretty slim to none because you're going to put out your best stuff you're going to put out your secrets you're going to talk about things you used to do you're going to talk about people you used to play games on you're going to say that people gave you clothes for years that you made thousands of dollars per month on. How do you, you cannot put the genie back in the bottle after that. So you're only going to go so far with these communities. Now, this is the rub, and this is what I was talking about earlier. At the beginning of this video, I put in the definition of payment because I have been cracking my ass up for last six months. I am not going to pay Glendon Cameron any money. I'll watch his videos, but I'm not going to pay it. I love his videos, but I'm not going to pay him. I think the videos are awesome, but I'm not going to pay him. Uh, where I'm at, I don't think he can help me, but they watch the videos. The definition of payment is to render, to exchange for. Linear thinking says, I'm not going to pay Glendon Cameron. I'm not going to give him any money for his information but if you watch my videos if you say my name if you talk about me you are paying me so that's the difference between linear thinking and dynamic thinking if you're thinking dynamically every time you talk about me every time you make a video about me every time you go in a private hangout and talk about me you are paying me attention with your most precious resource time you're paying me a high compliment. And, you know, just a shout out to the people, the dissenters, to the folks who keep this stuff going on. I want to say thank you. Because when this thing was really clicking to the left, I had my highest month of subscribers ever. Now, I want you to think about that. Not going to pay me, don't like me, but you're helping me make money and you're bringing more people to my channel. Once again, linear thinking versus dynamic thinking. Dynamic thinking is like chess playing. You have to think ahead. You have to think that if I do this, 
what may be one of the possible outcomes. But if you think literally and emotionally, I'm mad, I don't like this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm I will tell you, one of my recent consults came from the melee. It's like, you know, there were so many people talking about you, and they were so passionate, I just had to see for myself. So you're bringing me business. You're putting money in my pocket like the best little hoe on the stroll. Now, let's really jump into the dynamic and linear thinking. When you come on YouTube and you say something, you should be really aware of the words that you're using. I have a speech impediment, and I'm dyslexic, so I fuck up all the time. What's your excuse? <laughs> it, this is the thing. This is cracks me up because uh, I'm not going to do any response videos, or I'm not going to do any. I'm not calling anybody out because, really. As I sat back and I looked at the results and the outcome of the melee, it made me more money. In the oddest way, it made me more money. It got me more subscribers. So I'm not going to stroke the fires, but pretty much unless it's egregious, I have nothing to say. I'll just keep sit back and count my money. But for those of you who really want to learn the difference, for those of you who are looking to be better looking to get out of linear thinking because see linear thinking is one plus one equals two that's true but dynamic thinking is one plus a a represents a value times two times b b representing another value it requires a higher level of thought and the people who are making money living lives of intent and of purpose are thinking on a higher level so you can stay on that rudimentary level of basic linear thinking you're only going to go so far and I, my question to you do you want to go only so far when the opportunity to go as far as you want is available which would you choose would you rather stay linear or would you rather go the dynamic because the reason I'm talking to you this way is everything that you have, everything that you own, every relationship that you have, for the good or the bad, came because of your thought processes. Everything stems from your thought processes. And if you're thinking on a low level, which is linear thinking, you are living a low level life. Now let's talk about the resale community because I was having a conversation with a consultant. I went to an event last night and it is amazing that when I talk to people who are in business about my former business and the process and the procedures, they are just blown away. But when I talk to people on YouTube who've only had a job and don't ever, who've never had the courage to go out on their own and probably never will because they're scared little bitches. They just throw stones. And it hit me. Low level thinking. You can't grab your head around what I'm talking about. Because your brain is too small. And you know when I really thought about that. Because I was talking to someone who does sports management. Works for this company. And they, this is what they do. They do the bids for the Olympics or that the, the big soccer uh, matches around the world. They do that kind of sports management. And I was just laying out, you know, one of the plans and everything. You know, she, was, she works with the company. She was just blown away. You know, she has her MBA from a sh school in Ohio. And she was just like, wow, that's really, you know, just laying it out, throwing out terms. Totally 100% got it. Which, two, I was impressed by her, and three, I was impressed that the B-School curriculum has changed drastically because she just graduated. So she, there's a lot of stuff that's going on. Now, when you're talking to someone who has low intellect, because you would think they're smart because they use certain words, or they have a certain level of charisma. When really, 
they are attention whores because all of us on YouTube want something. Me, my name is Glendon Cameron. I have informational products that I want you to buy. I will say that all day long, every day, honestly, because it's the truth. That's why I'm here. That's what I do. That's why the reason that's the reason this channel was created. That's what I do. I know what I want, and that's why I get it. There are other people who are confused, who for some reason think that they're on YouTube and it gives them a certain level of prestige and power. When really most of the flack, and you know, I will say that I'm really surprised how well it helped me. Because most of the people who start stuff, they, they're nobodies. Uh, actually, someone has sent me a message about someone, another nobody, that has something to say about me. I didn't watch the video, and my response was, this person's a nobody, and they'll forever remain the nobody. Because, see, this is the thing. This is what I know. If you're a successful, happy person, you don't have time nor the inclination to start bullshit. I want you to think about it. Think about the last time that you were fantastically happy. Things were going well. Did starting some bullshit enter your head? No! You were happy. You were doing the thing. You were living the life. Things were going well. It There was no reason for you to even dream of starting any crap. None. No reason whatsoever. None. Because you're happy. You know, you, your, your bank account's nice. You are fucking the chick you want to fuck. Or if you're a chick, you're fucking the dude you want to fuck. Your house is immaculate. Life is good. It is good. It's great. There's no room for fuckery. Now, if you are a person, and this is once again, I want you to use dynamic thinking versus linear thinking. Linear thinking is, well, someone's angry and they're saying this. There must be a reason. No, doesn't have to be. Dynamic thinking is, why is this person saying something? Why is this person continually going on and on and on? And if you use dynamic thinking, it's kind of like going to the Wizard of Oz and pulling back the curtain. Because the more they do it, the more they go on, the more they expose themselves for their true intent and purposes. Because that happened. I made a prediction early in this year that a lot of the people who would who were about fuckery wouldn't be on YouTube that long. Once again, I used dynamic thinking. I sat back and see this is the thing. There's a lot of people on YouTube who don't really understand how YouTube works. Have no clue. Why? Because they think it's easy. I'll have a camera. <laughs> I can put a video up. And when they don't get the results that they want, it's a bitch fest. It's a wine fest. It's, I'm leaving YouTube because there's just too much drama. That is very weak-minded. That is exceptionally pussy-ish. That's a pussy move. Because, understand, I've been on YouTube for years. There are many of you I actually know now. And we've become friends. And I think that's a wonderful benefit of this channel. But, for the most part, none of us really know each other. For the good or the bad. We don't know each other. We've never seen each other. And more than likely, we won't meet. But if you allow someone that you don't even know. Someone that means nothing to you. Punk your ass out to leaving YouTube? That says a lot about your character as a person. It says a lot about who you are. Now let's get to the big reason that people leave YouTube. This is the big reason. Information ceilings. When you come on YouTube, just because you have a hankering or you feel an urge or you feel, a, hey, you know, I'm going to do a YouTube channel, which is your right. But you don't have a plan. Your time on YouTube is going to be very, very short. Because 
you can anyone can make 20 videos anyone can make 50 videos but the ceiling starts to get tight at 50 to 100 depending on the person because once again linear thinking I realized when I started this channel hold on self aggrandizing moment just hold on here you know who that's for because you are watching even though you unsubscribed and resubscribed and unsubscribed and resubscribed and unsubscribed and resubscribed I get emails every time that happens I figured I had two years for the storage auction thing I figured I had two years I didn't think it was gonna go on forever and ever and when I sat down I sketched out topics for 100 videos before I made my first one dynamic thinking dynamic thinking not linear thinking I'm going to make a video because see this is another reason linear thinking dynamic thinking linear thinking is I'm going to make a rant video I'm gonna make a bullshit video I'm gonna make a fuckery video I'm gonna make an attack video and one thing on that any grown-ass man that attacks a woman on YouTube that he doesn't know he's never met is one of the biggest pussies on the planet. That is a straight up pussy move to attack a woman you don't even know with venom and vigor and gusto. What kind of man does that? Oh, it's not a man, it's a pussy. It's a straight up bitch because it's an emotional move to attack a person like that. This is an unstable move. It is a move of someone with very low intellect because I don't believe in attacking women I've said a lot of stuff you know I've said things that were sexist I'll own up to my shit but I've never attacked a woman even some that deserved it because I'm not doing that because that's just a pussy move it's a total 100% pussy move and anyone that wants to try to defend that behavior is also a bitch and a pussy of the worst kind because it's unconscionable. And anyone that supports that shit, there's something wrong with you. Now, with the low intellect and the low brow linear thinking, because some linear thinking can be of a higher level, but you think that by making a video that you did something. Let me give you a real quick tutorial on the thing called discoverability and reach. If you don't properly set your video up, once you get past your circle of friends or whatever group you're in, it's lost forever in the world of YouTube. I mentioned this before if you're making videos and you got a number and then you get a like wild hair up your ass that oh I'm gonna take an emotional thing without research you're fucking yourself you're growing a big green dick and you're rolling across your shoulders and you're fucking yourself because if you're gonna do YouTube you need to have a plan just having a channel and making videos you're gonna run out of material very quickly now, with the dynamic thinking and the linear thinking, if you stay linear, your money's going to stay linear. It's always going to be 1 plus 1 equals 2. You get into algebra, trig, 1 plus that letter, which is a value, could be a billion. That's the difference between linear thinking and dynamic thinking. And there are many people who cannot get past dynamic thinking. I mean, they can't get past linear thinking. They just can't. See, I'm stuck on dynamic. That's why it's there. You know that Freudian slip? Because I'm stuck on dynamic thinking. Because dynamic thinking can change your life. It can totally change your life. Dynamic thinking is the type of thinking that it takes to write a book. Because you have to think ahead. And you have to plan ahead. And you have to create chapters. You, you have to think you have to think not react like a little bitch now let's talk about the payment situation again because I love this because I wasn't gonna do it but it, it's just it's too it's too fun because see the thing is by me doing this video 
I am going to get those people who don't like me, who want me to leave YouTube like girls. They're going to pay me more attention than ever. They're going to talk about me. They're going to have private hangouts and they're going to act like little bitches because they have linear thinking. See, they think, well, we're going to talk about him and that's going to upset him. We're going to talk about him and we'll get it off our chest. We're going to emotionally masturbate. Yeah, that's getting him. Yeah, that's getting him. That's telling him. Yeah, as they shake their little bitch fist. And I crack up because it really gave me new meaning to that thing that says there's no such thing as bad publicity. I kind of understand that now because I was just like, oh, that's what they meant. Because it was it was funny. Now, here's the dynamic way of handling that. Because if you do a YouTube channel or you start anything, you're going to get these distractors, haters, trolls. They're coming. Dynamically sit back and think, what can I do to make myself better? That's what I did. That's what I, I came up with, Operation Ignore, bitch, dynamic thinking, a plan. I came up with my own little acronym, my own little mantra. Because every time that some jumped off, I was like, Operation Ignore, bitch. Immediately calmed me down, and I went on. Because, see, when you get caught up due to linear thinking, you use time, which is your most precious resource, energy on bullshit. And when you pour energy into the cesspool of bullshit, it doesn't return to you. It doesn't come back to you. So this is what I did. I set a word goal for another book I was working on. I decided to create new products. Essentially, I went to work. I went to work. That's what I did. And I had one of the best Junes ever. Because typically the summer was slow, but a friend of mine on Facebook put up a video. He had refocused in his June. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing. See, that's dynamic thinking. Linear thinking is, oh, here's some fuckery. Let me jump in. Let me join the fuckery train. Choo-choo, fuckery, fuckery. That's linear, lowbrow thinking. It is totally linear, lowbrow thinking thinking, small intellects, because if all you can do is talk about a person, you can't talk about concepts, you can't talk about experiences, you can't talk about business, that's just a sign of your intellect. What you are speaks so loudly, I can't hear what you're saying. Because this is another thing with the YouTube thing. Look at how many people on YouTube have over 200 videos. You, you'll find not that many. I really didn't think that my channel was extraordinary or really that special because I would compare and contrast my channel to somebody that's got like a million subscribers. Do you know that if you get to say five to because there's a middle like five to thirty thousand subscribers, two million to ten million views. You're in the top 20% of YouTubers. I didn't know that until I did the research. I was blown away. Because the vast majority, going back to what I said earlier in this video, most videos just disappear into obscurity. They get a few views and they're gone. Because the person that created the video, and I understand a lot of videos that went viral were completed just from like, I'm going to make a video and throw it up on YouTube and it went viral. You don't know what elements come into play to make something go viral. So it could happen. But for those who've had long-term success, because see, this is the thing. Once again, using dynamic thinking versus linear, lowbrow bitch thinking, I studied YouTube. There is YouTubers, one, I'll give you his name. His name's D Storm Power. I have tracked his brother for four years. I've looked at his numbers, and he has just, like, jumped. And there's a few others. There's, like, about 40 YouTubers that I watch. And it's like, okay, this is, and I've just seen these people, and there, and this is something else. If you study YouTube, there is a point where people's channels tend to explode. They usually figure something out, network, there's something. And if you keep making videos with a good core subject, you can get there. But see, most people who come on YouTube 
want their 15 minutes of fame. They don't want to put in, they don't want to roll up the sleeves, don't want to put in the work, don't want to um, learn the business of YouTube because it's not that serious to them because once again, low brow linear thinking. Low brow linear thinking. You know, YouTube is one of the best resources on the planet. YouTube has made me six figures. YouTube. People laugh always. YouTube is extremely powerful if you employ dynamic thinking. If you employ linear thinking, YouTube is a pain in the ass. It's just not worth the time. It's too much trouble. Fuck YouTube! I'm leaving YouTube. I'm getting off of YouTube. Uh, it's just not worth my time. No, the real truth of the matter is you're just not that good. That's what it is. Because it is worth the time. It's worth the effort. It's worth the diligence. But when you are linear in thought, short on intellect, and an emotional little bitch, yeah, this is not a really happy place. It's not. Because that's short linear thinking. That's short term thinking. That is reactionary, emotionally masturbation thinking. That is not really thinking. That's more of a reaction than a plan, a organized thought process. None of that stuff. It's just YouTube is so bad. I can't stand these people. They are just terrible to me. It's just it's so horrible. It's just terrible. <laughs> and nobody likes me. <laughs> Bitch. Oh my God. So, for those of you who want to get away from linear, lowbrow thinking and move up to dynamic thinking, don't say, hey, I'm not going to pay Glendon Cameron anything then watch my video because you by watching my video you've paid me the highest compliment don't say uh glendon cameron is a self-aggrandizing whatever whatever unsubscribe then subscribe again because that means that you like me it's kind of funny it's kind and understand i don't give a shit if you like me or not because see this is the thing i know using dynamic thinking is i don't need everyone in the world to like me I don't need everyone in the, on YouTube to like me. I don't need half. If I can get zero, zero, point eight percent of YouTube in the world to come to the G-verse, I could become fantastically wealthy. See, that's dynamic thinking for you. That's thinking, that's thinking, that's thinking. Not reacting, not being a bitch, not being a coward, not being some type of flim flam YouTube artist dynamic thinking I realize that if I continue to work and also I know about time factor time to work factor I don't care what you do if you started selling flowers on the corner today and you managed to keep that corner for the next 10 years you would create a business that would grow by just fucking showing up but since we live in the world of immediate gratification of people who I don't, as Sweet Brown, I ain't got time for that. It's like after, you know, a few weeks, months, they're done because somehow this thing wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Therefore, it's not true. It's a fraud because the only thing that's a fraud is your ambition and effort. You never really had any. And that's why you fail because of linear thinking. Now, let's really jump to the ultimate truth of linear thinking. What you are, who you are, and your environment that you live in is all produced by your level of thought. If you want your thought process to increase, you have to change how you think. Now, once again, let's talk about YouTube. When my first YouTube, uh, my first two years on YouTube before I really started to study, because the thing is, I was like many of you, you know, got a camera make videos. I had a better plan than most of you. But my first 200 videos are kind of crappy. I was using a Sony CyberShot camera. The camera that had taken thousands of pictures for Facebook, not Facebook, for eBay. 
and it had the video feature SD standard that's why those older videos have the, the, the bars on the side and the square because I didn't understand about 720 or 1080p I didn't understand about those formats but because I had a plan and I, and I was executing I wasn't executing perfectly I made mistakes but because I had that plan and I executed and I knew where I was going because there was no well what are we doing here that was never the plan. It's like, oh, we're going to make this video today because this is what we want to achieve. Once I did that, and I, I was like, you know, once I saw the power of YouTube, once I was like, whoa, man, I need to put more effort into this. I need to study. I need. I spent money on not one but three video courses. You know, paying. You know, paying for information. Uh, one of them was a it was a, a weekend it was a, it was a Saturday event it's about nine hours and they had speakers and they were telling us about a certain thing and audio and presenting and it was really wonderful it was about 80 bucks it was 80 bucks some friends of mine put that on and then there was another course I took online and then there was another thing I bought I probably spent two hundred fifty dollars, and I know that some of you, your hair just fell out because it's like, I'm not gonna spend two hundred fifty dollars. I'm gonna sit here and watch other people on YouTube and just figure it out myself. Let me tell you something: if you could figure it out yourself, your life would be where you want it to be right now. If your life is not where you want it to be, financially, emotionally, whatever way you have, you are incapable of fucking figuring it out yourself. And when you accept that truth. You free yourself to grow because as long as you think that you're that smart, even though the evidence is all over the place that's saying, fuck, no, you're not. <laughs> you will ever, you will forever remain a linear lowbrow thinker and live the life that is produced by linear lowbrow thinking. I'm going to give you a funny. I'm going to give you a giggle. There's a person doesn't like me. And that's pretty much what it is. Blind, blind hate. This person said this. I have two degrees, and you know, I went to business school and the things I studied, and it's clear that Glendon Cameron doesn't master these business concepts. This person is disabled, can't work, has a kid, and poor. Okay? I'm on, you know, and poor. Extremely poor. And can't make it. I've you know, just always commenting. Yet I am not poor. I am not struggling, and I pretty much do what the fuck I want to do every day, <laughs> but I should listen to him. <laughs> Number one rule to choosing people to listen to, if they can't live the life that they want to live, how in the fuck can they help you live the life that you want to live? Now that's linear thinking right there, but it's good linear thinking. It's a good question. It's a great question because there are people, and you know, I'm not like I said, I'm not naming names. That when I watch YouTube videos, I'm gonna tell you something. I used to be an artist. I used to paint and draw and sculpt. So I have what's called spatial ability and and audiency, audiency. I don't know if I pronounce it correct. I just note shit, and I look at backgrounds of people doing YouTube videos, and there are people who claim to be successful, but they live in a shithole. They drive a shit piece of car. Their houses are not clean. When they do their videos, the sets, it's just like they don't give a fuck. It looks like a fuck you bomb just went off in their house. Yet they're saying, yeah, I'm successful. But the environment says, no, I am not. And see, that's the thing. I look at the background. I look at all these little things. And you just, you know, when you look at the person at the video, look at the background. And you say to yourself, is that the background of a successful person? And understand, everyone that makes money doesn't spend a lot of money on everything. But you can have a guy that's a millionaire, and he's driving a 20-year-old truck. But I guarantee you, the tires on that truck are going to be great. That truck's going to purr, and the paint job's going to look good. It may be a 20-year-old truck, but it's a well-taken-care-of 20-year-old truck. I had a 94 yeah, I sold Thor. And a 94 BMW 525i. Do you know how many people stopped me on the street? Damn, what year is that? 
because it was clean and it purred. It was almost a 20 year old car. See, that's what money does in dynamic thinking. You don't have to go out and get a brand new expensive car. You could take what you have, put a new paint job on it, put some nice wheels and keep that sucker clean and well maintained and you'll look like a million dollars. I know, I did it. So, you got people who are driving shit and it's damn near backfiring when they're making the video but they're going to tell you how to make money. Dynamic thinking. Dynamic thinking. Ask not one question. Ask several questions. Ask many, many questions about the content provider that's giving you this information. Look at the background. And ask yourself, why is the person making this video? I'll tell you why I'm making this video. My name's Glendon Cameron. I'm an information marketer, and I want you to buy my products. See, I have the courage to say that, the audacity to say that, because I'm a salesperson. I create a product, I want you to buy it. There's no shame in my game, because that's what I do. These other people, they want the same thing, but like little girls at the prom that didn't get asked out, their lips are stuck out, so they want to create trouble and drama, because that's all they're capable of. Why? Say it. Say it. Linear, lowbrow thinking. That's all they're capable of because they refuse to expand their thought processes. And I can say this as, with a great deal of certainty. If you do not expand your thought process, you will not expand your life. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So, if you're looking to be better in any capacity... You're going to have to really learn how to think dynamically. Ask many questions. Really think. Because, you know, there are people like, why is Glendon Cameron? I I've said it a million times. This Glendon 007 was created to sell information products. That was the reason this channel was founded. It wasn't just like, oh, I want to do a YouTube video. It was a plan that worked. Many people don't have a plan. No game plan. No rhyme. No reason. They're just doing shit to do shit. And I laugh at them because as I increase my thinking, and see, this is something else. Like when you go to the gym and you're benching 135, then, you know, a few months later you're benching 185, then 200, whatever, your levels increase. What is now linear thinking for me used to be dynamic thinking. If that makes sense. If you think dynamically, it will. So, for me to think more dynamically, I have to up my thought process. I have to increase my thought process, step my game up, and learn how to think at an even higher level. There is no end point to dynamic thinking. As you think dynamically and you expand your thought process, it grows upon itself. It improves. It's like money stacking up in a bank vault. It's a never-ending process. It's always ongoing. But linear, <laughs> lowbrow thinking is stagnant pond water. You stay the same day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. And you wonder why your life is not improving. You linear, low-thinking bitch. All right, this is Glendon Cameron, and I'll see you on the good side.